I'm Stephen McNamara, I'm a physicist here at Tokamak Energy. For fusion reactions to occur, you need to slam the particles together very quickly, and the particle speed is a function of their temperature. So the hotter they are, the faster they travel, so the quicker they slam together, and then the more you have, the higher the pressure, and the more fusion reactions you can get. The first milestone we're hoping to achieve on SD40 is 15 million degrees, so that's the temperature of the sun. So that's still relatively cold in fusion terms, but it's where things start to get interesting. 15 million degrees is the temperature at which fusion happens in the sun. Hydrogen comes together to form helium. It does this in a multi-stage process. First, two protons fuse to form deuterium, and then another proton is added to form helium-3. Then two helium-3 nuclei join to form helium-4 and leave two protons. However, this process happens really, really slowly, partly because when two protons fuse to form deuterium, one of them has to turn into a neutron, and the probability of this happening is very small. The sun gets away with it because it is enormous, so even a tiny probability is enough, and the sun has time. On Earth, we need to look for more efficient fusion reactions, so we use bigger building blocks deuterium and tritium, both types of heavy hydrogen. We will fuse these together to make helium and a neutron, and lots of energy. But bigger building blocks mean we need higher temperatures to get them to fuse. At Tokamak Energy, 15 million degrees is important to us because it means that our new Tokamak, ST40, is on the way to serious fusion temperatures. Now that we are hotter than the sun, we can aim for 100 million degrees. So the 15 million degrees, it's not at the beginning really, so it's just a proof that the tokamak works and everything's kind of gone as we planned. And then from then on, we're looking to push up to 100 million degrees where fusion can actually start to occur. It will be kind of a real test of the spherical tokamak physics that we think can allow us to make smaller power plants. <laughs>